Hey everybody, it's nice to be back once again. I'm gonna avoid trying to say uh, good morning and good afternoon to folks because I never know where anybody is at that time. Well, I guess in certain parts of the day you can figure it out, but seeing as I'm smack dab in the middle, 1230 where I am, I'm not gonna just assume where you are. But I wanna talk uh, briefly about well, what the title says, Joel Osteen and the Pope. What do they have in common? Deception. Now, yeah, I'm going to start talking a lot more about uh, Catholicism in the future. Um, I stay away from the videos about it usually. I talk a little bit about it. Um, I'll, I'll, in passing, in my videos here and there. <clears throat> and But I do mostly my talking during my daily life when I talk to folks. And I point it out there if I run into Catholics and... Uh, no, I don't go up to Catholic. Are you Catholic? You're going to hell! I don't do that. I'm not saying that. And that conversation will probably get to that point at certain certain parts of the day. But uh, we have to start talking about it. Uh, born again, Bible-believing Christians. Yeah, Sola Scriptura. We'll get into that, too. We'll get into that. Uh, the nonsense of, like, everything else but the Scriptures. And they'll say, oh, no, we believe in the Scriptures. Not so much. So, uh, but if you think about it, Joel Osteen, smile on his face. They're both in different clothing. They're different types of clothing, I guess you could say, or different styles of clothing. But still, she uh, wolf's cleaving. Uh, cleaving? Yeah. Wolf's clothing. Same thing. You know, with the smile upon his face in the million-dollar home. A lot of people understand that. Well, my brother mentioned something a long time ago, and I agree partially with him on this. And he said, you know, Stephen... People will hear what they want to hear, you know, and people uh, like to hear things that make them feel good. And he's right to a certain point. Yes, you know, look at the world today. We Nobody's feelings wants to get hurt. We don't want to hurt other people's feelings. We don't want to be mean to anybody. You know, that happens. And sorry, you got to do that even with your children. You're going to hurt their feelings once in a while. It's just a fact of life. I'm rolling down my window, get a little air in here. Yikes. I don't want the COVID to get stuck in the truck. Um, joke. But anywho, um, we have to realize that the scriptures are immensely important. And both will twist. Both will, one will twist to make you work your way to heaven. You know, and here's the thing I look at. Again, Joel Steen with the whole your life now thing your best life now and and to me on the surface of all of that it's really simple my my question is well if I get it all now what do I care about when I die what am I looking forward to if I've got everything I could possibly want I got my best life now not later apparently then why am I a Christian why even go to your church Joel the church of false prosperity fake hope? I don't know. Doesn't work for me. Shouldn't work for anyone. If you're a truly born again and Bible believing Christian. Sorry. It is not the clothes you wear, the cars you drive. Hey, I've had a few Mustangs. A few. Two. Sorry. A few is three. That's a semantic argument people love to have. I've had it in the past. Um, I ha I've had a Cadillac. Cadillac CTS. 3.6 fuel injection. Uh, I've had a few trucks. But what does that all matter at the end of the day? Eh, absolutely nothing. Absolutely, unequivocally, nothing. Doesn't do you any good. And then you got Catholicism. And, uh, and, and people will argue with me, and you can't, you can't, to be honest with you. I mean, you only have to look at your own paperwork. It's there. It's written by many popes. But it's in your Second Vatican Council. It's in the Council of Trent. It's in uh, uh, one of the, uh, oh, is it 1950 or something? Umi, uh, oh, I can't think of it now, the name of it. But anyways, um, it's written all through time. It's just all the nonsense. Why do I want to buy my way into a place that I'm, you know, that, that's stumbling on my words. Why do I want to buy free grace? Oh, yeah, that sentence doesn't make sense, does it? No, it doesn't. It really doesn't. And some will say, no, 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 grace is still free. Well, I, I implore you to look again at your catechism. 
um, the, the second council, uh, Vatican Council, the Council of Trent. Um, you know, you, you have to look at any, even what many popes and priests will tell you. If they don't say that. Well, then if they're not saying that, then I'm confused because they are and they're not. See the inconsistency? Sola Scriptura doesn't have that inconsistency. I'm, it, it doesn't. You know, you, you go to the uh, King James. Yeah, that's right. I said the authorized version. Um, and even in the Geneva. Um, oh, that's right. Now we're going to have a few people saying, ah, he's Protestant. Not so fast, my friend. There's a lot of problems there, too. And I am not a Protestant. See, that becomes the issue. Bible believers are far less than you think they are. I am neither Catholic or Protestant. I've had this argument before. I'm neither one. He goes, well, yeah, you have to be. Really? Hmm. I, I, I don't know that God ever said and Jesus ever said, you're either Catholic or you're Protestant. You have to be one of those. Pretty sure there's no scripture on it. If there is, please let me uh, share it. Share it. Don't, show, sh don't share a vague thing that m might mean something. Because that's what we get into. Both Protestants and Catholics. I'm not just kicking you, Catholics. I'm not kicking just you. By the way, I'm kicking Catholicism, not Catholics. I work with a pretty nice guy. He's a Catholic. He's a good guy. He's a decent guy. He's lost on a lot of things and he's confused, but he's a good guy. But good guys just don't go to heaven. It doesn't work that way. You would have to even agree with that. So with that, I will make this video short. There's going to be videos coming out in the future. They won't be long, drawn-out sermons. Um, I've never been a fan of long, drawn-out sermons because they're ne never to the point. Even some of my videos that are shorter are not to the point. And I have to get in, mad at myself sometimes. But I want to get straight to the point. What does the Bible say? It's easy to debunk a lot of things with the Bible, and I guess that's why a lot of people don't want to follow it. Remember, the Bible is not meant to fit your life. You are meant to fit your life to the Bible. It's really, ultimately, that simple. It really, truly is. So one day I'm going to give you, a, maybe I'll give people out there who subscribe a free gift that they have to pay for, a bumper sticker or something. Oh wait, it wouldn't be a free gift if I'm charging you. Bible is an amazing thing. The Bible, God, the words of God are amazing. Just absolutely amazing. What is not amazing to me is the vagaries of which people build doctrines on. That just makes me sad. I just think of all those people being lost and uh, led to hell. And that's sad. So with that, thank you. I appreciate you watching this video as always. God bless. Yeah, I don't know you, but I do love you and have a beautiful day.